Disability Rights Advocacy Center, DRAC, don't call on Niger people, made a change the way when we say that they see the people when we say they're not fit to use all their body, they do everything. The Oga of DRAC, Irene Patrick Obogu, a young gift of talk men for one two day training session of media practitioners for the sexual and reproductive health and rights of women and guests when we say they're not fit to use all their body to do everything. Mrs. Patrick Obogu say they get negative stereotypes for these people with disabilities for the public space, especially for their sexual orientation and sexual wants. The purpose of training for the, training the media is so that they can reach the people and let the people know that um, they need to stop discriminating against persons with disabilities. They need to support persons with disabilities in the attainment of their sexual and reproductive health and rights. They need to also be a voice you know, to, to join the advocacy for inclusive health services, access to sexual and reproductive health for persons with disabilities, especially women and girls, and um, generally to end discrimination and uh, reduce all forms of violence against um, persons with disabilities, especially women and girls. There's this um, notion in our society that uh, persons with disabilities um, are asexual, this means that they cannot have sex or they do not have sex or sexual feelings. And this can be quite detrimental and um, counterproductive because it affects the way we view them. So you find um, areas where um, a woman with a disability, for instance, is sterilized because she's, she, she's had multiple pregnancies in a, in a number of years. And so the doctor on his own decides to sterilize her and uh, cut her tubes without her knowledge, without her consent, just because they feel like um, she shouldn't be having sex, talk less of getting pregnant.